Hey YouTubers, today I I was gonna, you know, pose a question to believers and unbelievers of a thing, but I'm going to do that after I have a little rant. Okay, my back's been hurting for the past couple weeks. I'm kind of, you know, sick. Not, not, not sick like crazy mental sick. Sick like sinus stuff and the flu. Well, I put it off and put it off, and church people kept saying, oh, you know, you're just getting old. You don't need med pills, because you know what pills can do, you can get addicted to pills. No fucking shit I can get addicted to pills. It's medicine though, it makes me better. God gave people the wisdom to doctors to invent this shit, to make me better, and the doctors to say, hey, you got something wrong with you, so we'll give you some medicine to make you feel better. Not like, hey, I'll give you some pills, I'll get you addicted to this fucking shit, and then you'll be go to all kinds of rehab and ruin your life. What the fuck, people? Like, old Christian people, traditional church people, like, seriously, okay. Long story short, went to the doctor today after like two weeks of putting it off and saying, no, oh, I'll get better. Well, my back is killing me. The church people, you're just getting old. I'm 20 fucking two. Just getting old. What? Okay. So this is like, I think, the moral of the story is not the church people. The doctor said, hey, okay, let me look at you. And she touched my back and told her where her was hurting and stuff. And... I didn't even know what a sciatic nerve was, but she said, I did something my sciatic nerve. And I'm like, okay, what the hell is that? So, sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve, also known as the isciatic nerve, and the isciatic nerve, the same shit, is a large nerve fiber in humans and other animals. It begins in the lower back and runs through the butt <laughs> and down the lower limb. It is the longest and widest single nerve in the human body. The sciatic supplies nearly the whole of the skin of the leg, the muscles of the back of the thigh, and those of the leg and foot. It is derived from spinal nerves L4 through S3. Hmm. It contains fibers from both the anterior and posterior divisions of the lumbosacral plexus. What the fuck? I don't know what that is, but I'm sure if you kind of know about this stuff, you would understand, but apparently I pulled that, so I can't work out for like seven days, which sucks. Of course, I'm lazy, and I don't really go to the gym regularly, but, uh, but church people, they, they, they would have had me believe that I'm just getting old. I don't need doctors. I don't need to go to the hospital. Those give me medicine I'll get addicted to. I've, I've got uh, ibuprofen, and then stuff to clear up the whole sinus flu junk but like what the hell like seriously um i'll post a picture of the sciatic nerve hopefully it's gonna be big enough i'll post it i'll make a little sideshow thing right following this that was that picture um so yeah you got to see someone's butt crack and now my question, since I'm str I struggle with this, and I, I'm not bragging, I'm not gloating, I'm not making anybody stumble and fall, but I have a serious question, because I'm not getting answers, and I go to the support groups and the, these Christ Center recovery groups, and there's older men. Hopefully I can get some younger men respond, respond, response, responses, responses. And, um, like, also I have a question for married men, men who are, have a girlfriend, um, I, gay guys, I'm not sure if you you would understand this at all. Um, maybe. Oh, maybe gay guys have the same trouble. But okay. So my rant, and now the seriousness of this. Okay, pornography. That's it's like it's like huge. Like it's everywhere. It's like fifty some percent of the internet or something, right? Like I don't. I need to pull. Should have pulled up statistics for that. But it's huge. There are adult film actors, there are, there's porn everywhere, there's ads everywhere, it's just stupid, okay? Okay, so, okay, let's just try this. Okay, single men, how do you not look at it? And if you look at it, does it make you feel bad? Because, dude, it just, like, destroys, like, inside, I blow up internally. I just, like, ugh, it sucks, okay? If, if you have a girlfriend... I guess you don't look at porn because you have a girlfriend. Now, what keeps you from not looking at a porn?
because you have a girlfriend is because you do have sex like don't don't like go TMI like but I'm I'm, I'm just kind of I'm curious I want to pick someone's brain because I live alone like my stuffed animals don't tell me shit because they're stuffed fucking animals okay but I just want to get some honest responses and married men I know this is kind of like a big thing because I've I've heard what it does to marriages and stuff the women are like hey why are you looking at porn like you're my husband like but if if you don't look at it, how do you not look at it? I mean, I'm on the computer a lot. I do video games, I'm on Facebook. Um, I just like being on the internet. YouTube, I love that because it's like, it's my news, so I don't have cable. Like, Philip the Franco, Philip the Franco Show, Philly D, you know, good stuff. Like, that's my, like, news feed. Like, the computer's my life. And I can't just walk away from my computer and say, okay, I'm done porn, I'll walk away from the computer. That's gonna isolate myself. Like, I play video games, you know? I just, I'm, I'm just confused, but I want to pick someone's brain. So, porn, like, is it, is it a big problem in your life? Because it's just like, it kills me. On, okay, I'm, I put myself out there. I struggle with this. Like, do being single, being 22, like, I've got, like, hormones and shit, dude. Like, like, ah. And then I have Satan, Satan's a mother, like, I, he needs to get a job, like, seriously, besides bugging me. And bugging us and stuff, cause he's a dick. He, 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 like he's not. I can't even be nice about it. He's just a douchebag. But I just want to pick someone's brain. Like, how do you like not look at it? Like, I can go days, weeks, kinda, well weeks. I went one time a month, and I felt good about myself, cause I don't look at it. I feel good. I look at it. I feel bad, and I'm like, ugh. Jesus, forgive me again, like, and it's, it's like, he, he doesn't take it away, so then I, I wonder, and nothing's stronger than him, but why doesn't he take, why doesn't he just, like, remove it? We go through trials and sorrows, John 16, 33. I have told you all this, so you may have peace in me. Here on earth you have many trials and sorrows, but take heart, because I've overcome the world. But, also, this is where I'm going to need to edit this part. Oh, man, I need my Bible, because this isn't helping. I know I have it highlighted. Found it. It's in Matthew, let's see, 5? Matthew chapter 5. Starting in verse 27, the, the title is The Law of Adultery. And I think I need the camera. Alright, <clears throat> The Law of Adultery in Matthew 5, starting in verse 27, NIV. You have heard that it was said, do not commit adultery, but I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed sin, committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. I'll stop it there. That's pretty heavy. Um, so, I guess that's Jesus' way of saying, hey, don't look at porn. Like, thousands of years ago. But, then I wanted, I guess, to, to counter that with some encouraging, encouraging thing, encouraging, um, because that that's pretty heavy, you know. Jesus is telling you like, hey, if it caused you to sin, cut it off. He's not, from what I understood from a Bible study, it's not literal. It's just kind of letting you know that how serious it is. And that's pretty serious. Like, I need my eyes to see. Like, if I just had one eye, I'd probably fall. If I had one arm, I'd probably, like, cry, because if it was my right arm, I wouldn't be able to do anything accurately or precisely. This hand, like, if left arm's cut off. I'm always talking about left arm being cut off. Like, I can't drink, because, yeah. But, the positive note, Matthew chapter 7, verse 33. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow can take care of itself. 
each day has its own worry of its own. That's like it started right, but then I started jibber jabbering. But then uh, I, this is pretty heavy, and I before people start judging me, ooh, you look at porn, you're going to hell, you sinner, bitch. Or, or how about this, you cuss, <laughs> you're going to hell. You even saying that's pretty, that's heavy. Hell is serious. If you use hell like that and judge people like that, same people to hell. Do you know what you're doing? Hell is serious. But, and, oh, see, that was 633. I'm sorry. This is 7, verse 1. Do not judge, or you too will be judged, verse 2. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own? And then goes on to say that, you know, hypocrite. You're a hypocrite. So, why judge somebody and send them to the fires of hell when it just puts judgment on yourself? I just have a question. I pose the question. I hope I'll get some feedback because I'm curious. And then, of course, I want to make a rant about these Christians, these traditional Christian people. You're just getting old. It's like I'm 22, dude. I have... It's not from the car accident. I pulled a nerve. I need... Sometimes medicine does help. Not everybody's an addict. I'm sorry. Um, of course, I guess everybody is an addict because we don't all have drug addictions. And see my text. This is from a person I follow on Twitter. Better a diamond with a flaw than a pebble without one. Chinese proverb. From ancient proverbs. But yeah, I just wanted to like, I guess, kind of like pose that question at the end, and I kind of wrap it all up. Sorry for being so serious. I just wanted to rant because I'm, I was kind of pissed, still kind of am, because now I'm not a drug addict. But um, yeah, I just wanted your thoughts and feelings. Maybe women jump in on this. Like, what if your man was addicted to porn? Would you still like love him? Would you help him? Would you like say, "Bitch, get out of my life. Stop looking at this stuff." Like. I want feedback from everybody. Um, if you know what porn is, don't look it up. Don't even get into that because it's it's it sucks. I'll tell you that uh, straight up. I hate it. I've been I've been addicted to porn since I was seven. That's how it sucks. Twitter. Okay. Um. But yeah, leave your comments below. Subscribe above. I might have to make some more videos soon. Um, Final Fantasy 14. I hope to make a chocobo airship video like tonight if it's today I'm kinda hoping I'm gonna upload this video and stuff and then try to get excited cause last night staying up that that didn't happen 14 the 1.19 wasn't up so got my hopes up but I got to grind out some crafts anyways oh goodness thanks for watching have a great day and love you guys I, I wanna take what um Dan does from a gay day and say don't do drugs, stay in school, make your choices. But that's his, not mine. I just all I have to say is I love you guys. Love your faces. That's like Philly D. Damn it, I don't have anything original. Like, besides, love you guys. Mwah.